Welcome, you're listening to the Virtual Strategy Magazine video cast, uh, 10 Minutes to Zen. I'm here with Simon Crosby and we're at the Citrix Synergy 2008 conference. Um, how are things going so, so far at the show? Oh, it's been fantastic, thank you, Ben. And it's great to see you doing video podcasts. It's a good sign of the maturity of the industry. I'm sure next time you'll have your own studio. It's, <laughs> it's really uh, a, a terrific opportunity for us. Um, the, uh, what we're hearing from customers in terms of you know, Zen Server and Zen Desktop, even Zen App new features, it's just tremendously exciting. And of course, um, everything that we do here in my, my division, which is all around Zen, uh, that's all working as part of that. It's, all, it's, it's the foundation for everything we do. So we're very, very excited. And uh, Zen Desktop is really the big buzz around uh, the convention this year. Yes, uh, you know, Citrix had had desktop server as a product previously, and indeed we had customers using that in production um, for quite some time. So this is really release two of the product, so it's not a wonder no product at all. And um, it's terrific. It has this, this ability to massively scale VDI, and we think it addresses the primary objections that customers have had to VDI to date, which is price, end user experience, and complexity. And those are the key things you have to get right if this whole use case is going to fly. So let me give you the details on that. The price, okay, pretty obvious. But, uh, but it's not just the price that we charge the customer. It's the cost of the infrastructure overall. So you know, what we do with provisioning server, it, just a capability set that's built in there, is you can reduce you know, the storage costs and the storage uh, by a factor of 1,000 you know, for large deployments. And you can reduce the amount of management that you've got to do in terms of maintaining and updating those OS images and everything else by about the same order of magnitude. So very, very powerful in that respect. Well, let me Mass just interrupt you for a second. You talked about provisioning server. Now that's part of the whole product line, right? From um, that's right. platinum it's down? So, the, the, so I'm, I'm delighted to say that we're proud to be just a component, right? And provisioning server is just a component of Zen server too. And Zen server is just a component of Zen desktop, right? So, you know, and, and that's also part of the, the deliberate experience. That is, we don't believe that the, the, desktop, um, the desktop IT administrator needs to be a server virtualization administrator. We just think that that's found profoundly problematic. And so the whole objective in terms of ease of use also applies to the administrator, who really should do exactly four things to get a desktop up and deliver. You know, install the guests that they want to deliver, install the apps that they want to deliver, you know, provision the users and their roles and push a button and you're in the business, you know, notice no notion of a virtualization management console here. Right? That's not what you have to do. And so uh, making it easier for organizations to adopt virtual desktop infrastructure is really important. And that means you don't have to retrain your whole IT department. So making it the delivery of desktops a key function, um, which is as simple as it is to manage desktops today. And also, I, I wanted to add, making the desktop user experience the same as the, what they're accustomed to. And that brings me to some of the things that I saw at the show, which I think are, are you know, very exciting, is the fact that now you can have that rich environment right. through a thin client or through, you know, it doesn't matter what the endpoint is right. uh, through some of the... So high performance video up to that device, up to the, that desktop appliance. Um, you know, with a, an immersive PC experience. If it doesn't feel like a PC, the use case is not going to fly. And when, when I, I say feel like a PC, everything's got to work. Rich media experience, you've got to be able to do, you know, audio and video. I've got to be able to plug in devices that I go off and buy aftermarket, you know, USB devices and so on. It's all got to work. And, um, and then the whole thing has to be manageable. So, you know, the big problem that most people have had in early VDI deployments has been you know, the guy who phones up and says, I can't see my virtual desktop. And then all you have the ability to do is look at your, you know, your virtual center console and say, gosh, I can see the VMs running, but between you and me, there could be 2,000 miles and we don't know where the bits went. Right. And so building in the management and supportability of that user is absolutely critical. So edge side is in there. It gives us management, the whole line of sight, just like you have management of dial tone for your phone. And, um, and then we have an ability to manage the SLA that is delivered to that end user, but also included in, in Zen Desktop is another really cool thing that Citrix has is go to assist, which is if you are a desktop user and you, you, know, you, you need support, you click the button, 
built in. Go to assist function. At least somebody can assist you with your uh, with your kind of like desktop. the OnStar button. The OnStar button right. for your for your desktop. So managing managing the user's transition into a virtual desktop infrastructure and managing their experience is a key component of it. Great. Well, what are some of the other exciting things that you know that Citrix has been uh, showing at the site? Um, uh, well, we have so. In, in general, we will, from a Zen server perspective, we're, we're showing um, you know, what's coming up in 4.2 with uh, high availability in, and also you know, our storage architecture, which we think is very exciting. Uh, it's allowing us to work at a, a very advanced level with the leading storage vendors. Um, NetApp's been a great partner there. Um, there are other vendors coming along on the list very quickly. Uh, what that really allows us to do is leverage the new features that storage vendors have put into their products so that key things that you know, tend to clog up virtualized environments like snapshot and cloning, backup, HA and DR, can be done in the storage domain without any overhead on the virtualized server itself or the cluster. Um, and by just using the native functions that are provided by the storage vendors, we think that that's very cool. It also allows us to get all of the existing utilities and backup and DR facilities that people have bought, they just work because that's the whole point. Um, and then in HA, um, that's about um, providing you know, all of the capability that is required to make sure the VMs survive single or multiple server failures within a cluster. So as you do this, um, as you add new guests to your cluster, we can tell you uh, ahead of time how many server failures you can survive with your various VMs and prioritize them and so on. They'll be automatically restarted. Um, but also working with a, uh, with a partner marathon so that that architecture can just be extended into full 5.9's fault tolerance. So when 4.2 ships, um, all of that will be available. And there's still no solid data on when that's going to happen, right? But later this year? Oh, it's, uh, you know, we're, we have it here and it's, and it's running at the show, so now we're in going into, we're going into betas very shortly. So we're starting work with our development partners. Obviously, in something like HA and, and fault tolerance, you've got to know that it really works, so bidding it up very hard is, is an important part of what we do. Well, great, Simon. It's been a pleasure speaking with you today, and uh, as always, you, know, you can find out more information uh, by checking out our website, www.virtual-strategy.com, or go to citrix.com and uh, download a copy of uh, Zen Server and start playing with it, right? Thank you, and thanks for coming to our show. It's great to have you here. All right, thank you, Simon.